On today's tech spot, we'll be having a look at the Touchtone portable wireless speaker. Coming to, the folk, coming to us from the folks at ID America, it has a touch interface which will interface with all media devices. So if you have, for example, an iPhone or other media devices, you can connect to this speaker. On the side modes, all of which spot we'll show you when we get this opened up, you can switch from Bluetooth to auxiliary in, previous track, next track, play pause, music, receive and phone calls, and volume up and down. On the back of the package, you get four hours of battery life, you have a 33 foot wireless range and an auxiliary in cable and USB charging cable included. Loud sound, turn any phone, MP3 player, tablet or laptop into a personal music station. It's wireless, control your music from any Bluetooth device and it's hands free, receive hands free phone calls with the built in mic through the speaker. I'm going to provide all the information down below, so if you want to check out ID America for not only speakers and uh, other accessories for your mobile devices, you want to go to www.idamericany.com. Before we actually take a break, one thing I also really like is the fact that it has a handle up at the top there. It's compact. It's a very clean looking packaging, and I like that quite a bit. It's also available in different colors. Spot just happened to get himself black, but it comes in red, yellow, orange, blue, different colors. What I am going to do though is I'm going to take a break, I'm going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to have a better look at the ID America Touchstone Portable Wireless Speaker. There's definitely more to come. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Actually, when you remove the packaging for the Touchstone Portable Wireless Speaker, I just want to show you what the packaging looks like because it's actually quite nice indeed. Take the outer sleeve off, and you got this nice ID America logo. Again, still utilizing the handle on the top. And on the side, it's got a magnetized uh, flap. Let me just move that out of the way. You just lift the flap up. Now, the speaker would be inside. There's the speaker right there. Uh, it would be wrapped. Spot's already taking the liberty of taking off because I've been playing around with it. Uh, put the speaker right there. Take the inner tray out. I just put that to the side as well. And inside, the contents of the box. That's a fa fantastic packaging, by the way. Uh, the contents, you get yourself a USB cable that will uh, connect this speaker to a, a USB connected device, such as your PC, your laptop. You have audio cables, so you can connect it to your media devices. You have yourself a carrying case, which we'll open it up right now. I'm surprised even that you get a carrying case with it. I mean, that's that actually looks like it's really good quality as well. You get yourself a carrying case. Nice, almost uh, almost like a velour color, velour uh, fabric. And you can take the speaker and put it in for carrying around. It's a small enough speaker as well that when you're taking it with you, it doesn't take up much space at all. I like the fact that you get a a carry case with that as well. Um, I'm just going to take the packaging, just move it off here for a second, and let's have a look at the, the speaker itself. Oh, and also you get your instruction guide showing you how to install and how to run your Touchstone Bluetooth wireless speaker. But the speaker itself, surprisingly for how small it is, now you would be looking at this and to gauge how small it is, here's Spot's phone you can see it's roughly about the same length, same dimensions, guaranteed. It's just a little bit, obviously, it's a little bit higher. But it's about the same size as a cell phone. And for how small it is, the sound is quite incredible on the, on the unit itself. The speakers, are, the speakers permit and omit the sound from the front, from the front there. On the back, you've got your connection port to your USB sync. You've got your line in for your media for your media plug, and then you've got your power switch. To sync it, all you're actually going to do is you're going to take this power button and you're going to hold it. And when you hold it, you'll see that this will light up and the 
the, the mode button, the inner on button, will light up as well. So holding the power button, Bluetooth mode has been on. It kind of also sounds like George Takai. I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, once it's on, you'll see that it will continue to flash. That's because it's paired. I was going to say that's because it's looking currently for a media device that it can sync itself to. Spots already taking the liberty of syncing his phone to it, but if you were, say, essentially taking out of the package for the first time, what you would be doing is this would be flashing. Then you would go into your settings option, your Bluetooth, and then you would be under devices, you would be selecting add new device or connect device. Now it's already scanning, it's already connected to the touchstone. It's as simple as that. Once connected, the, the speaker will now enable a wireless playback from your phone. I'm going to put the speaker right there. And actually, you know what, before we put the, before we actually get some sound going on here, the buttons on the top, you've got your track skip, skip back, skip forward. You've got your pause and play, and you also have a phone answer button. So not only does the speaker serve as an audio device, but it can also serve to use as a, an answering device for when your phone rings. The mode button up at the top toggles in between, toggles in between your line in and your wireless Bluetooth. Uh, so when you're running a line in, you, 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 you select mode, and then you would be able to play it from your line in. Uh, to select it back to Bluetooth, you're just going to press mode again, and then you'll be able to sync it back to your wireless device. Let's say for the sake of playing playing a track here, I'm just going to go to a song here. And, I don't know, let's just find a song. Then. You broke my heart, because I couldn't dance. You didn't even want me around. There is also a volume control at the top to let you know that you can rotate to volume down and volume up. That spot won't play the entire track, but the idea is when you when you're toggling your tracks, for example, when you press the skip button, it'll skip in between your ne the next songs of your list, your playlist there. And I think that's really, really neat. The idea of it, I mean, if you have your phone at parties or anything where you, you're wanting to play an audio track, you don't necessarily have to rely solely on your phone if you've got the majority of your tracks on your speaker or on, on the actual phone itself. You can, you can project all of it through your speaker device. The sound is incredible for how small this speaker system is. Um, and as you can see, it gets quite loud. Uh, that's probably about three quarters loud. I could certainly increase that even louder, but obviously, you know, I'm not going to play the, I'm not going to play music too, too loud. The neighbors won't like it. Um, to power down, you're just going to take that same power button and just hold it, and it will power the system down. Um, again, it comes in different colors. It comes in black and spot got himself a black unit, but it also comes in white. It comes with uh, orange, yellow, red. So many different colors available. Definitely, if you are interested in checking out more about these Touchstone portable wireless speakers, I encourage you to go to ID America's website that I'm going to provide down below. If you want a wireless device to be playing, all your wireless speakers to be playing your tracks, especially for parties. Spot doesn't really have as many parties as he used to have, but I know if I'm going to have friends coming over and I want to do, get a real clear sound quality to the tracks that I'm playing, sometimes people would just default to using their phone and then just try to have the volume loud enough. I mean, why go through that when you can have it going right to a Bluetooth wireless speaker? This speaker for size and cost has been probably one of the better, better speakers that I have used uh, in recent memory. Um, today's tech spot, we're having a look at a very incredible speaker. Um, Spot's already been playing around with this and loves this so much. Today we're having a look at the Touchtone Portable Wireless Speaker from ID America. Thanks for watching, guys. Certainly stick around. Spot's got more tech spots heading your way. I'll see you guys next time.